uh, now as we um, uh, approach the close of the first uh, panel, uh, set of panel presentations, uh, may we call uh, our last speaker, who is a very, very important person in the Philippines. She is a PhD in electrical engineering from the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, with specialization in speech and audio signal processing, time, frequency analysis, and synthesis. Currently, she is an undersecretary for research and development of the Department of Science and Technology. Let us all welcome Dr. Rowena Gev Guevara as we take a look at many DOST funded innovation breakthroughs. Giselle, thank you very much for inviting me to speak today. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to talk about DOST funded innovation breakthroughs. DOST defines innovation as a process, product, or service that is new, original, or improved, which creates social or economic value. According to the Global Innovation Index 2018, out of 127 countries, the Philippines ranked 17th in graduates in science and engineering, 7th in research talent, and 40th, 40th in global R&D companies. There is an opportunity to match new industries with the human capital that is available in the country. Government investment in SNT human resource and development has increased sevenfold in the last seven years. And in R&D, it has increased sixfold. Now more than ever, there is a need to maximize our gains in these investments by nurturing our researchers, giving them direction, and getting industry to play a bigger role in R&D and recognize the value of SNT in, in business. The role of R&D has evolved from being teaching-centric to peer-centric, and now it is society-centric. Thank you, CP, for this slide. Where R&D is conducted as a tool for positive societal change, R&D outputs have the potential to be innovation breakthroughs when research is intended for the benefit of society. Some examples of DOST-funded innovation breakthroughs are the following. The irradiated carrageenan plant growth promoter that increases rice yield by 15 to 40 percent and mongo yield by 33 percent. The use of fertigro for corn and sugarcane results in 145 percent increase in yield, 50 percent fertilizer cost reduction, and 32 percent increase in nutrient uptake. The long line method for mussels and oysters has higher growth than those produced using the traditional steak method and it is environmentally friendly. Fish eye uses artificial intelligence in acquiring highly accurate information such as fish population density, species identification, and biomass estimation. Project Sarai was developed for crop forecasting and crop monitoring system for rice, corn, coffee, cacao, and banana. It includes pest identification, soil moisture monitoring system, water management decision support system, and crop suitability maps. The coconut somatic embryogenesis, or CSET, uses tissue culture to produce 200 plus planting materials from just one knot for mass propagation of genetically superior high value coconut varieties resistant to pests and diseases. The Tuklas Lunas program pursues two parallel tracks of drug discovery and development involving the production of standardized herbal drugs and the identification and characterization of high value pure drug candidates for preclinical or clinical development. The, progress, the program has produced Lagundi, the first herbal medicine registered in the Philippine FDA, used for the treatment of cough, asthma symptoms, and other respiratory problems. It has been licensed to at least 13 other companies since 1996. The Axis Total Knee Replacement System was built for the Asian knee and costs 50% less than those that are available in the market. Axis has patents in the US and China. DOSC invested $1 million to match Axis investment. Biotech M is an avoidable and locally developed rapid test kit for accurate detection of dengue infection within 12 hours. Out of the 1,000 invention, Biotech M was one of the 26 gold medal awardees in the 46th International Invention Exhibition in Geneva, organized by the World, International, World Intellectual Property Office. Vigarmin is an organomineral for treating wastewater and neutralizing odor from organic waste in landfill or material recovery facilities. It converts septic tank water into Class C water. 
The hybrid electric train on Philippine National Railway has an operational speed of 60 kilometers per hour and maximum speed of 80 kilometers per hour. The train can run at 50 kilometers per hour at PNR tracks between Mamatid to Santa Rosa Sensations in Laguna. The prototype of the hybrid electric road train shown here has a capacity of 200 persons per set. This has been tested at a maximum speed of 60 kilometers per hour. This is in Clark, Pampanga. The automated guideway transit, the third one, is at UP, it can dri run driverless at a speed of 45 kilometers per hour with a capacity of 60 persons per coach. This one. There's another prototype of the AGT at Bikutan which can run at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour with higher capacity of 120 persons per coach. We encourage Philippine American and foreign scientists to work with our researchers in the following facilities. The computing and archiving research environment is a platform for easy storage, analysis, and sharing of environmental and geospatial data, as well as provide better access to high-performance computing resources. The Philippine Earth Data Resource Observation Center has the capability to receive, process, and distribute space-borne imagery for resource utilization and mobilization. For developing medicines, we have 10 to class Luna centers for screening plants and marine samples or endemic natural products for therapeutic properties, bioactivity and toxicity facilities, and the Philippine Genome Center. For developing new products, we have the Dye and Mold Solution Center, the Food Innovation Center, the Advanced Device and Materials Testing Laboratory, and the Electronics Product Development Centers. We have 20 technology business incubators and two innovation hubs all over the country. By next year, this will number 52. I wish to feature the work of six Balik scientists. Dr. Annabel Villalobos present here, expert in chemistry and biotechnology from the University of Pennsylvania, was hosted by the Central Mindanao University for just 94 days in 2015. CMU is now one of the DOST granting aid grantees for several projects. Dr. Arnold Lug Guban was a short-term Balik scientist in 2014. He is a polymer engineer who has found a home in Mindanao State University in Iligan, where he mentors graduate and undergraduate students. He is involved in processing of bio-based polyols and polyurethanes for industrial application in partnership with Chemrest Philippines Incorporated. And the other Arnold, Dr. Arnold Alguno, who was a short-term Balik scientist in 2009, is also in MSU working with the other Arnold. His expertise is in semiconductor nanotechnology. These two Arnolds were Balik scientists, and now I call them stay scientists. Dr. Janelle Saludes and Dr. Doralyn Dalisay are Balik scientists and professors at the University of San Agustin, where they established the Center for Natural Drug Discovery and Center for Chemical Biology and Biotechnology. Together with 26 students and researchers, they're working on metabolomics, a tool for discovery of hypocholesteromic natural products from pineapple, and metabolomics-driven discovery of antimicrobial drug leads from marine sediment-derived actinomyces of Iloilo. Dr. Al Salafika, a Blick scientist in 2016, has assisted DOST RDIs and universities in technology transfer, commercialization, risk assessment, scale of procurement of biomedical equipment, prototypes, assessment of Philippine Science High School graduate output, fairness opinion boards, lectures, one-on-one -on -one consultations, and 50 technology commercialization lectures. In conclusion, I propose the partnership between the Philippines and the U.S. researchers and research institutes to leverage resources and bring science to the people and to industries. The goals are to innovate on partnership and working models between Philippines and U.S. to maximize impact to economic development, Number two, undertake R&D to produce innovation breakthroughs. And number three, create virtual presence of Phil Amps in the local STI systems, ecosystem, working side by side with local researchers. The expected output is STI contributing to economic development, intangible products, processes, and services, and intangible future-proofing of our industries. Thank you very much. so much Gav for giving us a roller coaster ride through all the accomplishments of the DOST which are truly breakthroughs